So I quite like Troy Brigade this format. I think it's a deck that can, it's just a very versatile deck. We all know the engine is super compact. So you can play the uh, Lyrilus version, which was really popular last format. It could probably work quite a bit this format to be fair with the bird call and a little small bird package. But um, I quite like the Zodiac package still. Obviously it, it was like really good last year. I still think it's pretty good this, this year to be fair. You can always make like a, a form material zoo. So anytime you can do that is, is pretty strong. Um, plus it's like a little package that you, you can have access to in the grind game. Um, and we add DPE in here as well, which can give you a lot of versatility and go in first and second. So yeah, the Tri Brigade engine is always gonna be super compact. So you have a lot of flex spots for hand traps and other utility cards. So we'll get into it. So we play three Ash. Um, I like Ash this format. I just think it's really generic, hits a lot of things. It just does what it does. It just, if that makes sense, it just does what it does. Like the fusion cards, um, it can hit the uh, Fateful Adventure as well. So there's some things you can hit, um, obviously in Prank Kids, if you don't see the Brave Engine, it's really insane on the on the normal summon. Um, effect engraved, so yeah, that's pretty strong. Obviously, Nibiru is really good. Again, some people are questioning why um, you main deck Nibiru over the Brave stuff, but um, a lot of people, if you don't bait it, if you don't um, give away your, in your body language that you have it, um, they can sometimes just use the token as link fodder for a DPE or a Verte, sorry. So you can actually, they play into Nibiru quite a lot. So I still think it's worth playing in the main deck and Token Collector could be swapped for Lancia, but I really like Token Collector this format. I think everyone's on Brave. If you're not on Brave, you're so far behind. So with that said, Token Collector just puts them in an awkward spot where they can't get that token and um, it turns off the Griffin and stuff. So yeah, it's, it's pretty good to, to main deck if you're going into an event where you expect a lot of Brave. Say if your locals has loads of Brave, just main deck it to be honest. Um, I'll see Sword Soul as well, just insane against that deck. So yeah, really good card this format. If you haven't got your copies in real life, just pick them up now while they're uh, affordable. And then Ghost Ogre. So Ghost Ogre, in my opinion, is a, a really good hand trap. It's, it's, a, it's like a sleeper uh, hand trap of the format. It hits Prank Kids, hits Sword Soul, um, can hit uh, PK as well if you go Cherubini without an extender. They can just like, it doesn't end a turn, um, depends on the hand really, if they have any other extenders, but I think Ghost Ogre is really solid this format, hits a lot of things. Um, also as well, uh, interaction, if you Ghost Ogre the Griffin, um, they can no longer negate, which is pretty important. So I think Ghost Ogre is really good this format. And obviously Tri Brigade lineup doesn't really change, 3 Fractal, 3 Kit, uh, 3 Nerve, and 2 Crass. Like I said at the start of the video, um, playing the Zodiac package still, because I, I just like Zeus. I think Zeus is insane. Going to Ram Ram, sorry, the uh, Borbo into uh, Zeus for like four materials is just really strong, uh, especially in the grind game as well. And then DB obviously, because it's pretty insane. Uh, two Fusion Destiny along with the package, and I'm playing Prosperity. So my take on this deck is you do your Tri Brigade stuff, and then if you know what you're playing against, you can Prosperity NTV combo to dig out a really impactful hand trap, like Ogre, Token Collector, uh, can dig out for a Revolt if you haven't got one already. So there's loads of utility cards in this deck that you can just dig for. I think um, we're back a couple of formats ago, people were like digging for Solemn Strike, people were digging for uh, um, Imperial Order, and yeah, you can Ghost Ogre uh, Appaloosa as well. So yeah, that comes up. And Droplets is probably the ins most insane card this format. It stops Scythe Lock. And it stops just like decks from going, like building up like two or three negates. Like against the Sword Soul board, it's really good. Um, it's bait so much. You can just break a board normally with this card. It's so insane. This card's just nuts. I can't believe, every time I, every time I resolve this card, I'm like, wow, this card's insane. Um, Tanky, obviously, because it's good. Uh, same with this, just two starter cards. Um, Corp of the Grave is actually so, so insane in this format. Hits so much, so many things. Because um, the Prank Kids deck is like chain blocking the Enorm Summon now. Uh, the Effect and Grave. So if you have a Corp of the Grave, you can just like, um, just get rid of that, which is pretty insane. And obviously two revolts. Some people play one, some people play three. I like two, I think two's fine. Uh, 40 cards, so pretty consistent. This is like a Tri Brigade go-to slash 
anti-meta, would you call it? I'm not too sure. It's just a good mid-range mid deck. Um, they can play loads of hand traps. That's the, the only uh, effect strategy. So quite a solid deck. If you guys have had the deck already and you're looking to play it again, I think now's a good time with the hand traps um, and utility cards it can play. So for the extra deck, play Almirage, two Ferragit, two Shurik, um, the Beerbrum, uh, Doom Eagle, the Double Dragon Lords. I think a lot of the stuff you do um, with the extra deck is so standard, it's, it hasn't really changed. Um, Verti, of course, for the uh, DPE, Axis Code, and then a little Zoo Engine for uh, Zeus, because Zeus is pretty insane still. Especially like going second into boards. I've noticed on Master Duel as well. Uh, Dryden's legal, so you can like go into boards, um, second with Zodiac, and just do like a six material Zeus. So yeah, it's pretty crazy. And then for the side deck, um, side deck probably changed quite a bit to be fair. But um, I love anti spell this, this format. I absolutely love it. It's so much brave stuff. You, if they have a handful of, uh, or like even some brave, so right turns off like the brave, turns off most power spells like pots. Um, obviously, droplets is another reason why this card's insane because it plays around this. Um, but it can turn off uh, the brave engine, which is pretty insane. Stops you, stops them from breaking your board. Um, also, playing Dark Ruin no more. So, this is another flex spot. I'm thinking of perhaps taking it out, but side decks just they they come and go. They change all the time. You want your back row hate as well. Um, so playing three twin twister, three cosmic could also play uh, lightning storm. But I like cosmic like so much this format. I was even tempted to main deck it because it's just another scythe uh, out, and then lancia, which is another card you could potentially swap for the token collector. But I feel like lancia doesn't really hurt uh, prank kids much, so. Yeah, that's the deck. So if you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments and uh, catch you guys in the next.